I said salute to the untouchable True School Sports Empire. <laughs> Taking That's right, over the untouchable. not only the South Florida boxing scene, but the worldwide boxing scene. Well, it's personal between me and I'm going to do you some serious harm, you big stiff idiot. The untouchable True School Sports Empire proudly presents in association with amateur boxing champions. Something the boxing games are missing. Hey, what's going on? It's your boy BT, and I came here to talk some boxing with the thousands of True School Sports amateur boxing champions, viewers, and subscribers. Now, another one of those videos on one of those amateurs we interviewed when we, while we were out in Colorado Springs uh, in October by we, I mean myself, Sean Porter, and Sean Sattel. We are amateur boxing champions, you know, covering amateur boxing at the highest level consistently bringing you guys that world-class content so definitely going to be something revolutionary from the media side in boxing so stay tuned for that but uh wanted to talk about roscoe hill you know a very interesting fighter um in roscoe hill i, I like roscoe hill because you know per personality wise you know he he don't say a whole lot but he's just cool he's he's smooth he's, he's just cool as the other, other side of the pillow you know he came he came remember when he walked into the room where we were interviewing him he came in all cool and whatnot had his gucci flip-flops on he's just that type of guy man he's just really really cool uh laid back humble guy you know likes to uh joke around but 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 just really really just just chill just a chill, chill guy just a cool 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 as fuck i like i love roscoe hill but as far as him as a fighter, you know, we when we interviewed him, he spoke a lot about um like just like Millie and Moore, um, and just like some of the other fighters on this team, that basically he it's not really his um interest to become a professional fighter. Like, that's not what he signed up for. He wants to his main goal is to win that gold medal. Now, it's interesting because we often we we oftentimes see it with like the Eastern Europeans and the and the and the Uzbeks and whatnot. They they stay in the amateurs for a long time, you know, like till twenty seven, twenty eight, twenty nine, whatever. Uh, Roscoe Hill is kind of just like that. He's twenty eight years old himself. Amelia Moore is thirty one. So we got we got our we got our own fighters that are like that here in America. But um, you know, he he really. From what I've been told, because I, I didn't I didn't really see Ros I didn't see or hear much of Roscoe Hill until just recently when he won the uh when he got when he was awarded a silver medal at the IABA World Championships. But um Sean Porter, you know, Sean Porter's been seeing Roscoe Hill longer than I have. Like he saw him in the gym, uh, I think one of the gyms in Vegas, and he had just said that Roscoe Hill wasn't all that great when he first seen him. But then Roscoe Hill has improved exponentially, and now Roscoe Hill like I just stated, he 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 was able to be awarded and and capture one of the most pr prestigious you can win pr prestigious things you can win on the amateur level, and that is um you know a silver medal at the IABA World Championships. You know it's hard to even just make it to the IABA World Championships, let alone get a get a medal uh, in the IABA World Championships. So he's come a long way, uh, winning that silver. And uh, you know I, I I've watched him fight. Interesting guy. He he he's he's very awkward, um, long. He's rangy. He he he's got really good timing. He like he had a fight. I can't remember what the opponent's name was, but he had a fight that me and Sean Tell were watching uh, one night before we, when we were studying these guys. And uh, he fought this Cuban. He fought a Cuban. And you know, there's so many Cubans in the amateur boxing. So I, if, I, if I remember his name, I'll tell you. But he fought a Cuban, and it was a good fight. And um, it was a fight that people, a lot of people thought Roscoe Hill wouldn't win. And I remember Roscoe Hill was out Cubaning the Cuban. I mean, he was like, you, you know, fainting, uh, pot shotting, using that range very, very well, and mixing in the right hand when he needed to. And it was just a really good performance from a fighter that you, you, you can clearly see his mental abilities and his physical abilities are starting to uh, both meet up at its highest point. And he's becoming, he's maturing into a really, really top flight amateur fighter. And you know, he's one of these guys that um, you know it's it's it, it's interesting, right? Because the coach Billy Walsh, in amateur boxing, everything is always it's, it's, you only get three rounds to win the fight, so you know you can't be giving away rounds. But Roscoe Hill uh, said in our interview that like he doesn't really worry about winning the first round, which I think is a little problematic because if you only have one round and you kind of give it away, 
if you give one round away in a three round fight, then you got to make sure that the second and third round are convincing, you know, and, and that, that's, that's kind of leaving, leaving it up to chance. So, uh, listen, likable guy. Um, if I had to compare his style to someone, I, I actually told him this and I told, I told him this in front of Sean Porter and Sean Tattel. His style reminds me a lot of, uh, Marquise Taylor, which ironically, Marquise Taylor is actually apparently one of his really close friends. Um, because Marquise Taylor is from like the Houston area. Um, Roscoe Hill is from, I think, Springs, Texas, something like that. I think I said it. I think it said Springs, Texas. Where are you from? He is from Springs, Texas. Yeah. So uh, Houston area. And uh, yeah, when I told him that Sean Tattel and Sean Porter didn't know who Marquise Taylor was. And I only know who Marquise Taylor is because I watch Showbox. I'm like a boxing nerd. I, I watch the cards that nobody really watches uh not many people watch and people care about but i know but i watched that car so i knew who he was marquise taylor good fighter long rangy knows how to make opponents uh break their rhythm ross Hill was kind of like that but i feel like he's more like um he's a little bit more talented than than marquise taylor in my opinion and i also think that uh he's he's just a little bit more fluid than marquise but still has that same sort of awkwardness to him so really good fighter uh, improving year by year and uh, definitely someone that will be on metal watch in the 2024 Olympics for Team USA. So yeah, those are my uh, thought, little thoughts on Roscoe Hill. Probably probably the, the coolest guy on the team. I would say the guy on the team that had the most swag was probably Roscoe Hill. Shot straight up. So he's definitely the swaggiest dude on Team USA uh, for the amateurs in boxing. But uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below about Roscoe Hill. If you got anything to add about Roscoe Hill in the comments, uh, feel free to uh, leave your comments down below. Make sure you guys take the time to subscribe. And like I say in every single one of these videos, you can love me or you can hate me, but I'm just a kid from Daniel. So until next time, take care, guys. Uh, just like uh, uh, Mayweather's uncles would say, a lot of people don't know shit about boxing. Um, you know, um, you you do. You've done Thank it. Thank you. You about the only smart guy that I know, bro. Nobody knows shit about boxing. I appreciate it, man. I want to say, man, make sure to follow True School Sports, always covering boxing at the highest level, man, and make sure to subscribe to his YouTube channel. Follow him on Instagram at Just a Kid from Dania as well. Ooh, he, he the plug.